Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The Estadio Alejandro Villanueva, that's what the venue has been called since 2000 in honour of Alianza Lima's greatest star. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. That was impressive. Match that. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and... That's a fine start in itself. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I'm going to pick João Moutinho. I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to... Has a pop! Goal! Croatia! Right from the first whistle, they played with an energy that makes them good value for that early goal. The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Oh, the contact was fantastic. Right on the boot laces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. Portugal trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Guerrero. Guerrero with the crossfield ball. Cristiano. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Ricardo Pereira does well to read it and intercepts. Jean Moutinho. Danilo Pereira. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Great run on the overlap here. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Jean Moutinho. 
needs to get it forward quickly. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Michelco. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1 0. Jean Moutinho. He's making good use. Bernardo Silva! Michelco. And it's Perisic. Vlasic. Kovacic. Chances keep on coming, they're awarded another corner. Away from immediate danger. Kovacic. Now can he finish? He'll hit it! Played it short. There are a few waiting for it. And he heaves it forward. Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets wrestled off the ball. Michelko. Perisic. Vlasic. Perisic. Croatia are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Good clearance and very necessary. Vlasic. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hoists it forward. Out to the left it goes. Gets the better of his man. Jean Moutinho. Danilo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. And it's Danilo Pereira. Cristiano Ronaldo. And the shot! That's a half decent try. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Croatia get into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And we're already into the second period. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Bernardo Silva. 
Danilo Pereira. And here's Cristiano. Shapes to shoot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Cristiano Ronaldo really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Gets up to head it! And that's caused the worry or two. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. And it's Perisic. Oh, that's neat. Perisic looking to get on the end of this. And that should be the keepers. Vida. Michelko. Croatia are still that goal to the good. Balls out on the left now. That's a throw. Vlasic goes for goal! Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Vlasic usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Joao Moutinho is the guilty party there. Perisic. Vlasic. Lovely bit of skill. And here's Perisic. Chance to cross here. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Bernardo Silva. Revic. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Guerrero. Bernardo Silva, Danilo Pereira, Jean Moutinho, are more than happy to take the muscular approach. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Vlasic drives it forward. Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's been taken straight back. Ruben Dias. Croatia leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Balls loose, who's getting there? Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, he's really drilled it. <laughs> Final checks on the touchline.
a change about to occur. So we have a double substitution going on here. Up to meet it! Just off target. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. They need to get it in quick. Loughran gets it away. And it's Mario Rui. Croatia need to hold on for a few. He'll have a go. Oh, real danger here. Here's the chance to cross. Jean Moutinho. Danilo Pereira. Portugal desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. He's had a goal! And that is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. So many times.